Listen, guys. I know you you may be tired of it, but I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, I'm not done with it because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna reiterate what I said <laughs> earlier in my previous podcast that Blue Apron is tasty, yum yum nutrition for your tum tum, mm. mm-hmm. and it's easy to make. It's it's high quality food, El Natural, mm-hmm. and um, that's all really. I mean, I, I'm I'm convinced, and I'm telling you something right now, man. I was talking to um, Nick Cage. The actor <laughs> Nick Cage? Well, uh, he's just my friend Nick. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't watch his movies. Call him Nico. Yeah, Nick, Nick. I go, Nick. He's like, what's up, man? You want a massage? Oh. <laughs> That's the no. first thing. What? <laughs> yeah. No. Well, I'll give you a massage. I'm uh, fine. But he's like, hey, whoa. Is that Blue Apron? I go, yeah. He goes, I eat it too. You're just carrying out on the box? Yeah. Damn. Him, Maria Bamford eats it. Oh, she's funny. <laughs> what? She's that's a very from Nick Cage to Maria yeah, Bamford. Yeah, Maria, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know also um very diverse group of friends. You know who also eats it? Who? Amanda Plummer. Who's that? Yeah, who's that? She was in Goonies. Wow. <laughs> yeah. She she, eats she's making it. a comeback? Yeah, yeah. In fact, Goonies, you know, the whole crew ate it. Even it didn't make it it didn't exist back then, but they have a time machine. Damn. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, tell them about it. Blue, a- <laughs> Blue Apron is treating Tiger Belly listeners to a $30 off your first order if you visit blueapron.com slash belly. So check out this week's menu and get your $30 off with free shipping at blueapron.com slash belly. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Five, Ready? four, three, two, one. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? Heaven will prevail. Heaven will prevail. That is this episode's topic. That sounds like a hit song. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. It's not mine. I stole it. From who? I'll tell you later about it. Okay. But um, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. We've got George (laughs) back. He had some sort of disease. Welcome back, You okay? How are Um, your lungs? A lot better now, yeah. Yeah? We're going to talk about you in a second, man. Uh I'm on to you, bro. Um, (laughs) We got Galipko. What's up? What's up? We got Kalo. Hi, Chloe. That's me. Chloe. You got me, blue, 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 blue in the house. Um, I want to tell you something right now, man. Um, something happened to me today. That was, um, you know, sometimes you get lobs, and then you have to hit it. Mm-hmm. You know, and people give you a lob out of nowhere. You know, they're called um, God gifts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little gifts from God. And I was so today. I had to do this thing called. What the fuck are you doing with the kung fu thing? <laughs> that was uh, really weird. I caught I, me off guard. What the fuck you doing? I think it's because I'm out of frame. Am I? No, out no. Of I'm frame? just making sure I don't block you in the frame. If you ever I'm do here. a kung fu hand thing like that, to get, you could you could die. <laughs> he will, from where I come from, dude, you do a kung fu hand, your fucking hand gets broken. Yeah. He will fuck you up. Hey, yeah. sorry. Coloco, do mine. Glipco. As my brother says, <laughs> I will murder you all from last week. <laughs> my brother told everyone in this room last week. How, how did I miss that? That episode? he was going to murder everyone in this fucking room. Mm-hmm. He pointed to us individually. Individually. Including and, Bryce. Including Bryce. Bryce. Bryce wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> oh, man. We red zoned my brother. And we will. We're going to air some of that. Something. I think we'll air something. Maybe not the, the actual, like, um, banging on the table stuff. But. Oh, yeah. We're not going to do, um, well, obviously, the thing that I said to get him there. But, um, yeah, it's quite interesting. But, anywho. About the God, God gifts. Mm-hmm. So I had to do this thing called. So I, people know I don't give a fuck, but people. Um, I'm on a show coming out, and anyway, spit um, it out and be proud of it. I'm on a yeah. show. So check it out. I'm on a sitcom. <laughs> yeah, it's called Splitting Up Together. Jenna Fisher. Uh, anyway, Oliver Hudson. A- anywho, Some big names. Pretty good. Yeah, but um, we got the best possible spot. So we got what does that mean? Tuesday night, check it out. March twenty seventh. It goes Roseanne. Right? You don't you go after that? No, just check it out. The middle. Oh. A new episode of Blackish. Oh. And then our show. Mm-hmm. So Tuesday is comedy night. Not only that, we go they're gonna put it on again the next night after Modern Family, a brand new Modern Family. 
Has that been announced officially already? Yeah, they did. Today? They said I could say it, yeah. Okay. And that's two nights they're going to show our show. Those are huge lead-ups. Those are huge lead-ups. Modern Family. You cannot get better than that. If they said, you're going to be on Friday at 11. <laughs> After some a. weird local cable a. show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like, oh, they don't like it. They hate it, yeah. But then we, so I go to this thing, this TCA thing where all the critics are and you have to fucking go on a red carp and do all that bullshit, right? Mm. I, I do the red carp, we do a casting, and then the president of ABC goes, I want to be in it. So she got in it, right? Which is a great sign. But then here's what happened before that. This is where the God gift happened. <laughs> the lob. The lob, God lob. The God lob. The God lob. There it is. So I show up and I'm, first of all, you know, you show up and everyone shows up at the same time. And so when people are getting out of their cars, you have assistants and people coming from ABC going, oh, Mr., you know. Mr. Lee. Not Mr. Lee, but like they'll go to like Mr. Braff because Zach Braff was there. Mm. Mr. Braff, you know, come to the table, this and that. The first five people that walked up to me goes, are you press? <laughs> I go, what? Straight up. Straight up. Like you're in the wrong area. Why do they always do this to you? You're in pre you press. Press is on, <laughs> on the other side of the building. <sighs> And they go, no, I'm on a show. They go, you're on a show? Yeah. <laughs> what show? Splitting up together. And then they have to look at, look at paperwork. Oh, my. So it's not even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, they, they have to look at paper. Right and then away. they go, oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But like every five people I have to go in, right? <laughs> Nightmare. So here's another thing that happened. Did you notice I wasn't wearing a tie in that photo? Yeah. What happened to your tie? They yanked it off my body. Why? You're the not, publicist. You're not two of them did. to? They go, that's an awful tie. They yanked it off my body and then they sent me up to a room to cover my fucking lesions on my face. You mean your liver spots? My liver spots. Really? Yeah, so I'm in a private room. They're putting like makeup? this yeah. special liver spot makeup for like diseased Asian faces. Okay? <laughs> like um, what says Alfie Sullivan's in Peaky Blinders. You know how his face is all crusty? Why? That's, that's what, what you had? Yeah, that's what I had. You have, um, what do you call it? Um, scurvy. <laughs> I had scurvy on my face. <laughs> so they're just putting... <laughs> so that's not... so. Then they go, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're a little too early. You're, I go, okay, you pick me up, right? Mm. They go, go to the bar. So I go to the bar, and I see Oliver Hudson, who's on the show, and I go, oh, finally, I could hang out with somebody. He's sitting with all the executives at ABC. He goes, Bob, come on over. This is, this is good. And it's not because I don't know what to do. He doesn't. She ask her. She, he goes I'm gonna. On I'm mode. gonna. I'm gonna fart. I'm gonna do something. something. Say something racist. You I know what I mean? You build the fun cakes in those situations. No, ma'am. Yeah, not in a super high pressure. It's almost like he morphs into someone. And, and my else. and and also the inner voice says, just don't say anything. If you don't say anything, then it's even. Mm -hmm. Right? It's zero zero. Yeah. The game. Right. You're not going to win, but you're not going to lose either. So don't say anything. You could potentially lose by being a dud. Right. Sometimes when I'm in a place and I'm like, God, that person was a dud. You know, it's like people who are just sat there, like there saying nothing, not adding to anything. Yeah. I'm like, Are you a spy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but so but my thing is shut the fuck up. OK, so you come you go over there and I could have said a lot of things that I would normally do. You're like, oh, yeah, that fat fuck. You know what I mean? I could just say things, but I don't know who they, I don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah. You don't know your audience. I don't yeah, know my yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I shut the fuck up. And I'm just sitting there. And now people think that I'm being eccentric. Mm. That's mm. that's a term <laughs> that people use to describe me. And I'm no more. <laughs> I don't know what it means. You know who Howard Hughes was fucking eccentric? Eccentric. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Eccentric. Eccentric. Ex eccentric. Yeah. All right. I'm not. That's I'm not a crazy person. <laughs> People know it's a good thing. You're weird. You're off. You be no. I want to be normal. <laughs> or I want people to go. Oh, he could babysit my kids. Mm -hmm. Not. Oh, he can like you know paint a mural in the backyard. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's what I look like. Like the, a, a gook Basquiat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am. A I'm gook, gook yeah, Basquiat. Yeah. Guskiat, uh, yo, yeah. I'm Guskiat. Yeah. That's, that's a shirt. Yeah, Guskiat. His name is Jean Bob Basquiat. <laughs> Jean, yeah, Jean Bob Basquiat. Yeah, yeah. Jean Bob. So I, so I'm sitting there. I don't say nothing, and now it's kind of like people are asking me questions. So you do stand up, right? Oh my god, like small talk. They fucking know you do stand up. No, but you know, like, yeah. yeah, I do it. 
I do it. Like, that. like just weird. And they're just people just eating, talking, you know. So you're bombing right now. B- big time. Are you on B- your phone or no? Basquiat, no. Jean Paul Basquiat. Yeah, 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 bombing. Yeah, yeah. Basquiat. <laughs> so then, this is what I hear. You have to yell the corn. Okay, so <laughs> just that. Just listen to what I have to say. Okay, what I hear is this. You have to yell the corn as loud as one could say that. Now, if you don't know my act, back 15 years ago, I used to have a joke where my dad said, you have to sell the corn. Right? Sell the corn, yeah. Right? So I go, okay, that's a joke from 15 years ago. But it was dead on. She, This person good. did the accent. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Shout out to I you. I look up, and it's Roseanne Barr. Whoa. Whoa. Points. And now everyone Points. at the table goes... They're at, now the focus is on me, and I and then my face, you know what I mean? Goes, that's a love. I'm gonna <laughs> get it, right? I'm love. And I got up, you know, I shook her hand. I go, oh my thing. She goes, I'm a big fan of this guy. In front of everybody. In front of everybody, wow. right? That's a guy. Yeah, thank you so much. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'm blushing. John Bob is blushing. Yeah, John Bob is blushing. Do you guys know each other? No. Nope. Even better. It's a god love. It's a god love. That's a god love. A god love. I thought you guys knew each other. No. So she just knows your stand up. She, but that was a joke I haven't told in 15 years too, right? And she remembered it. And then she leaves, right? And now the attention's on me. And and then everyone just starts laughing at me. But which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. They laugh. go, look, you should have seen your face, they said. Right? And they're like, one of the executives is like, I'm so scared. Like, I'm so nervous because I'm such a big fan. That that's my first interaction with her. That was amazing, you know. Mm. And then you know it became looser, and you know, I mean, I don't. And then I'm th- going through the line with Lindsay Price, and because all these people see the show, they saw three episodes, and all the. I'm not kidding you. It's not in my head. It's on fucking camera. People would go, "Oh yeah, you guys are on the show," because I mean they had paired me and Lindsay. You're amazing, Lindsay, on it. She is amazing, though. But nothing for me. <laughs> nothing. Con. Okay. Nothing. So I think this season I just slid by. You know, the performances were a little iffy. Maybe they cut the scenes down a bit. Nah, I think. Nah. But you know what? Can I say something? Don't sell yourself short. You were great. But I think that Lindsay is a seasoned actor, and she she is a very you know to her credit. She's a very I good love actor. her. Yeah. And God bless her. And take care. Okay. <laughs> take it. Take God Bye. bless you okay. and take care. Goodbye, Goodbye Lindsay. Forever. Goodbye, Lindsay. You're love dead to, you're dead to me. Bob. <laughs> but good best. Good best. Good skiat. Good skiat. Good skiat. Okay, that's the shirt. <laughs> with me and little with like little um what, he had um what do you call it? Dreads. Dreads, yeah. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. Anyway. So that happened. I came back and to do this podcast, and um, I don't know. I think my mood, as of late, it's you know when I watch a show, it affects my life. Mm-hmm. And Black Mirror mm. has completely affected my life. If you're not watching Black Mirror, especially this last season, mm-hmm. there's something. Re- it, listen to me, guys. There's something real wrong with you. That, that's not true because it is very. It's a very dark show, and I don't think that. If you're looking for a feel good show and you watch episode three, <clears throat> Crocodile, it might fuck up your entire week. That, it fucked me up. The last one, the Black Museum one. Oh my God. That one God. fucked me up. That was intense. Yeah. But. No spoilers though. You guys have to watch it. But. I don't like people go, you know what? Like people go, you know what's good? And it has no gore and it's, it feels good. But I watch it. The fucking Golden Girls. I love the Golden Girls. I have the entire the, I, season. I have it right outside. I have the fucking th- first three ep- oh, seasons. Of you watch all of it? Oh my all god! Over, it. over, over, and over again. My whole life, I've watched Golden Such Girls. Such a great punchline. Thank lines. you for being a friend. Define, yeah, define characters. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'll watch if it's good. I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. When they go, hey, watch the little fish movie with the little Dory. You know Finding I mean? Nemo. Okay, so and here's so not only did is the Black Mirror affecting me, mm-hmm. but I um 
I started doing what because Kalila, Kalila. I didn't force you to do anything. Shut up, Kalila goes. Um, you should not smoke. So on and on. So I quit smoking five months ago. Okay, so I have no more no more smoking. Okay, this is her new thing. Let's become vegetarians. Oh shit! You jumped on. Yeah, seven days now, bro. Did I force you into it? No, but you know what? It's condescending the way you say it. No, that's not true. You won't. She she's like. You're not going to be able to do it, so I'm not even going to ask. That's the only way to get you to do anything is That's to say you can't do reverse it. Reverse psychology. Yeah, it's like reverse psychology 101. Yeah, but I fall for it every fucking time. <laughs> All right? If you want me to do anything, that's how you do like it. Like for a week, I was like, please don't do it because it's not like you're going to last more than a day. Please just don't join in. And he's seven days into it. That's a veggie burger he's eating. <laughs> that's impressive. I'm eating a veggie burger right now. And look, it's only for the month of January. It's just a trial. And it's not, it's not that I don't believe in eating meat i just hate like the agribusiness and how everything's just like mass produced and all that shit, so yeah but anyway but here's the thing that it it so with the black mirror and the veg, vegetable ve- vegetarianism <laughs> just an experiment yeah goes hand in hand. i have to say the only positive is i've never had such fruitful shits what is a fruitful shit it's it's it, it, it just keeps on giving the shit, it's, no, the it, shit that it's, keeps on i've giving. never had my poop Bind. Yeah, he's always had scattered poo. Mine's like debris. Yeah. Like Katrina. So you yeah. don't have actually solids. It's just I never spreads. do. I eat so awfully that if you look at the inside the toilet. He has yeah. messy shits before. It looks like Aleppo. Just oh, God. Floating. Like an aerial view of Aleppo. Just just every mess. Oh, you spray. Blood, you know, everything. Yeah. Blood. Post, that, that's yeah, something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's something another else. problem. But okay. with this vegetarian, <laughs> I've never had, I've never had, you know. Hardy. You know the Lord of the Rings, the ring? Mm-hmm. What does it do? It's a, there's, it binds. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's the ring that binds the other people, that binds it together. Right. Mm. It says it in the prophecy of the Lord of the Rings. Mm. That's what this is doing. It's binding. You've also lost three pounds and I've gained three pounds. You've gained? Yeah, I think that um, I... I know that I'm getting enough protein. I just think that um, by nature of going vegetarian, it's it's very carb heavy. No matter what, you can't get around the fact that, you know, it is carb heavier than having a higher protein meal. And that's just the end of it. It's all glucose. Yeah. It's like when I'm hungry, I'm going to have vegetables and rice and, you know, try to get like protein. But yeah, I've gained three pounds. I think my body is shutting down, guys. <laughs> It's so like, what do you guys normally eat then? Just that? Just burgers? I, no, I still eat eggs. I still eat a lot of veg. I mostly just eat a lot of vegetables and I, I fucking try to combine proteins to make a whole protein. Mm. I'm more careful than him, but I'm actually getting the least benefit. He's losing weight. I'm gaining weight. It's so sad. He's winning. He's winning. <laughs> and this was my idea. Interesting. I like going to the veggie grill. By I Ar- do. By Arclight. But there's a couple of them. Oh, yeah. It's a chain now, friend. Yeah. But I like going to the veggie grill. I, 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 I've I always liked it, even when I wasn't vegetarian, because I just like the fact that it kind of does taste like chicken. <laughs> Is that you know, the like, slogan? <laughs> no, but it's like, you know, their fr- fried chicken Santa Fe ch- sandwich. It kind of looks like, it tastes like a fried chicken sandwich. Mm. But it's not. There's also an artificial, robotic, androidy kind of vibe to it, too. And that's what I like, too. Like, it's a like future food. Like I mean, like like in a space station, Jetsons, yeah, and they their nachos are like what aliens would make if they heard about nachos. Mm. You know, it's not quite there, but there's something weird about it. That's why I like it. And then we went to another restaurant down the street. What's that place? Down the street or in Silver Lake? Wherever that fucking thing is. Chloe. Chloe. By Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Really good. Mm-hmm. So then there's these new joints popping up. You know, maybe we all can do it. You gonna? What happens if you go past a month? Will you keep doing it? No. Oh, okay. You because I, I no, because I want to eat sushi one day. What if if you're a pescatarian? Only fish, as oh, uh, do, can I do that now? No, we have to do the month of January. <laughs> you open up his mind. Yeah. Wait, can, can I be I pescatarian now? I'd rather be pescatarian. <laughs> Look at his face, See, Kalilo. Oh, you Look know what? Face. Not surprised. Not surprised. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. How about days? this? How about you know what? All right, fine. How about this? How about this? psychology. How about this? You know what? You're right. I'm a loser. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm weak. <laughs> You're weak. You're pretty weak. I'm but a weak guy. I'm going to be pescatorian. Bobby. Pesca- <laughs> pescatorian. Do what you want. 
I ain't gonna do what I want. Damn what you want. I am mean, good. Like I want to be it now. Wow. Oh, I want to be vegetarian. <laughs> did it work on you? Yeah. You reverse psychology. You couldn't do it, dude. I did. No, you, I did for three months. No, I wasn't no. around. Did you gain weight? Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Because I ate a lot of fries. That's vegetarian. Oh, okay. See, I don't, Luke, dude. I'm eating less but getting fat. Maybe it's my thyroid. I need meat. But what is about? Let me ask you this: It's yeah. the agriculture business. Mm. I've seen docs about it. You know. Yeah. It's they they raise cows inhumanely. Yeah, but also in so much abundance, and we were just so wasteful mm. with with everything, like how we consume, how we produce. All of that is just wasteful, and it's not. I'm my I'm not opposed to eating meat if it's like responsibly sourced and all of that. If I if I had the liberty, if I have the skill, if I had the skill to hunt my own shit, to spearfish every day, to grab my own stuff, I would absolutely utilize and eat all animals. I just don't. I live in a modern world where I live in this condo. I don't get to do all that. And I feel bad by being this like wasteful consumer. That's the only reason why, really. And also, I generally think cows are really um, cute and pigs are smart. And I just, you know. I'm getting sensitive. I'm getting really soft. You watch Okja? I watched Okja. I didn't finish it. Mm. Well, Carlos Mencia, when I went to Honduras back in the day, I had lived in this village. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? For a month, I lived in, because Carlos comes from a little village in Honduras. No running water, no electricity. It's literally prehistoric, medieval shit. But I got used to it. And they've never seen an Asian, the ki- villagers, the kids. So I was pretty much like the Elvis of that town. <laughs> you were famous. I mean, I would wake up and I would, ha- I would be the Pied Piper. <laughs> I'd l- walk out of this little building, this hut. And I'd have 50 kids just following me around. Cook basket. Yeah, yeah. They'd throw rocks at my head. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they would. They thought I was some sort of creature from a different planet. But I, um, one morning he goes, hey, bro. That's just the way he talks in my head. Yeah. He goes, hey, bro, there's, uh, we're going to kill a pig. You got to check it out. Mm. Bro, they flipped this thing upside down. They stuck a thing in his neck. Yeah. It squealed like I've never seen anything squeal. And I fucking ate the fuck out of it. Because I was so hungry, but I felt so bad. Yeah. Nah, well, I've seen those videos. That's that's I what I grew so up. Bad. I, you know, it's so weird when I came to the U.S. Um, they would serve. They wouldn't serve a whole lechon, which is so customary in the Philippines to serve a whole pig with a face and everything in it. And I remember one time we went to a Filipino party, but there were a lot of different races there, and they asked they asked the the host to put a towel over the pig's face because they couldn't eat eat the pig with a pig staring at them, which I really never thought was an issue growing up because that's just how we do it. We roast the whole pig, right? Don't waste yeah. You put that whole thing in the table. But I think that's a little hypocritical. If you can't look an animal in the eye while you're eating it, then you don't, you don't deserve that food. But yeah. it, is this hypocritical? You eat a fucking pig, then you should be able to eat a dog? Um a part of that I do agree with. I just don't think that, I mean, do we need to be killing 60 different kinds of animals is what I'm saying. I understand, but what I'm saying is is that, is it the same thing? Essentially, yes. I think that a pig's intelligence is very much Right, that's what I've been told. They're like dolphins. They're land smart. dolphins. They're but smart I, as fuck. I saw a babe. Yeah, they're incredibly intelligent, and I think they're one of the few so animals then, that orgasm. <sighs> Wait, wait, wait. What? They orgasm? What? Well, let's, or maybe let's... this... Yeah, I read that. Science thing. alert. Science yeah. alert. <laughs> science alert. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> let's... What, <laughs> what <laughs> animal... I thought they all orgasmed. No. Why would they fuck then? Not all animals have sex for pleasure. They have yeah. sex out of like an innate drive yeah. to reproduce. I've never seen a fish orgasm. Like yeah, but dolphins but have sex for pleasure. What if they... What if all animals have orgasms they just don't make facial expressions but they feel it <laughs> no like they don't make noises like i do like oh you know what i mean you're very vocal <laughs> yeah what if a giraffe just went mm, and that's it <laughs> and it was like the most but magical, it felt so, so good, good. Yeah, yeah but that's just the way they express, express it yeah are you sure giraffes don't orgasm i'm not sure i don't know how they even measure exactly there's no way to do it because i mean in monkeys at least you can see that they give they give each other head they they blow each I've other monkeys like jerk bonobo off. monkeys yeah, yeah i've seen monkeys jerk off like right in, they jerk off to me like there was this one zoo that I went to often now in the showing Philippines. showing off, but okay. I swear, and there was this one <laughs> monkey just like chuk chuk all day. Yeah, yeah, chuk, yeah, chuk. yeah. They call it lo lo. Lo lo. Yeah, uh, uh, well, like, <laughs> lo, lo. monkey, they're the our closest ancestors, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you? Nope. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean like um, 
Wait, why'd you say no? With I, I didn't say <laughs> that. There's a smirk on your face, and you're like, can you? Know, you? Nope. I, could you? Could you eat with them? Yeah, of course. Well, then why'd you say no? Okay, just he had a little smirk on your face. All right, could you? <laughs> <laughs> could you? Science alert! There. Science alert! Science, science, science alert! alert. Beep, beep, beep. No, but I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do this. I don't attract it to it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I know like, what you're gonna say. But can you? There's, there's. <laughs> eat with it. Can, no, can you eat? Can you? <laughs> Can eat you have it. sex with a monkey? Of course. That's well, well, called but, bestiality. Yeah, if you want your dick ripped off. They, oh, they would fight. They good would luck fight. trying to fight. fuck a monkey. What if I wore my like fancy fur coat? What do you mean? <laughs> no, I just like done it up. You know what I mean? Like I, I wore wear, my fur coat. I would wear an armor. Because no, that thing will rip your fucking ears off. That's threatening them. No, I'm going to just be, I'm going to like put like, yeah, I have a San Tripoli. Okay. I'll, go, I'll grab all your hairs. <laughs> <laughs> like what you shave them, yeah. right? I'll just, just save all that. I'll paste it to my body. Sam Tripoli's hair. It's much like a monkey. Yeah. Let's be Just real. Just make sure the monkey is 18 and over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those and, were so And alive. the monkey was like, huh? And I was like, hi. He was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right? And then like, you know, he was laying on his back. Uh, him, not a girl. I mean, a woman. <laughs> nope, you said him. <laughs> nope. Sorry, it's too late. You said him. <laughs> we have to stick with it. <laughs> All right. Well, then that's weird because I don't know if he's gay. <laughs> But there is homosexuality in the animal kingdom. I is know there? that. Yeah, there is. Of course, you see even. But dogs, could you have like... a baby? Could you have a baby with a monkey? No. Are you retarded? <laughs> science alert! Science alert! Science alert. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't think that's possible. All right. Sci- you, I, this is. I mean, is this even science alert? What? <laughs> is this even? Well, a if they're alert? our closest ancestors, right? They're our cousins. No, man. We we just listen, man. Listen, friend, I saw Planet of the Apes. Okay, I did too. Yeah. Okay. He wants to make like a human version of a liger. That's yeah. That's what he wants. Where it's like mm. close DNA, but then the baby comes out sterile. Or I kind of want to like. A mule. They, they should start cro- I want to meet a centaur. You want to fuck a horse is what you're no, saying. No, no, I want to meet one. I want to like ride a centaur. Oh. And because you could talk, you know? You don't need the radio. I think they probably would be like <laughs> Wait, what? It was all... supreme. You know what a centaur is a half human, yeah. right? The way you said So you're like, well, I would do a saddle. I'm not gonna put my arms around, you know, the human half. That's what I'm saying. If I'm riding it's, him, it's really, basically riding a human. Yeah, yeah. No, you, I'm, I'm riding the horse part. I wouldn't hang on to the human part. I would ask, can I may put a may I put a saddle on your back? Because I'm not gonna hold your human parts. Yeah. Mm. He's like, no, dude. My name is Raul, I'm, and this is how I do it. I don't know Raul what your name has anything to do with it, but Raul all, the right. Centaur. all right. So I'm riding a centaur, right? Yeah. And then you don't even have to have jams on. You can just say, "What's up?" Yeah. yeah. How do you know any uh, you know Pegasus? Mm. You know, you could just a- ask him questions. You know. Yeah. About that. Pegasus world. is like their Jesus. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, centaur is Jesus. Yeah. And I just things I think about. You know. Let's talk about George's betrayal. Well, it's. Oh, I'm trying to ease into it because I don't even know how to really do it. But um, he's sick. I'm going to be point blank with you, man. Uh oh. Get on that mic. And I'm. I'm. I'm going to give you an out. <laughs> well, I'm going to take it then, sir. <laughs> oh, you oh, are. Shit. Okay, good. What, what's the out? I'll show you so the out. Sick, All right. Well, though. then here's your out. You can leave our podcast. You can go with Theo Vaughn. Oh. Whoa. What have you heard? What are the rumors? Why would I leave this podcast? Because um, Theo Vaughn's like, check this out. The other night, <laughs> and I go, "What is it?" And it's Theo and George, interesting, comfortably hanging out, arms over each other like oh. this, hanging out. And he's like, "Yeah, dude, he's my dude too now, man, bruh, <laughs> bruh." And I was just like, "Hmm." We should have signed an exclusivity contract. Some biblical with shit right there, man. That's fucking Shakespearean. Just building the empire, uh, really creating more something. family. You know, you bring, right bring now, more you people fuck. into the family. Let me tell you something. You fuck. All right. If you, we come first. Yeah. No, I, this is what I mean. <laughs> no. no, you're not. You're not you don't listen to what I mean, man. Okay. All right. Just kidding. Just kidding. If on a Wednesday you're doing his podcast and mm-hmm. I need to shoot an emergency one, you bail his. That kind of shit. Mm. We come first. Yeah. All right. Then you can do both. That wasn't such a bad confrontation. Yeah. I thought you that's were gonna go. That's why I've got. That's why I've got a cousin. You know. Can always Bryce. cover as a backup. Right, Bryce. Mm-hmm. So how long are you gonna be stretched thin? So you want what do you want to do? What's your you want to just produce podcasts? Uh, at the moment, yeah. Empire. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. But the what you gain, you, there's synergies uh, through uh, through expanding the empire. You know, you learn new things through everybody you work with. May I make a comment? 
Uh oh. Typically, you have a very nasally voice, your regular <laughs> voice. Yeah. The fact that you're nasally, wanna... that you're congested now, yeah. actually takes it. It takes it away. Takes it away. Yeah. So you're not nasally when you're actually nasally. nasally. You that sound okay. <laughs> you sound okay. You know what? You're allowed to call me instead of text me now. <laughs> Only when you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it lasts for another three days, then back to texting. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, your energy is weird. You're still sick He's a still little sick. bit. Yeah, He's still sick. He was on his deathbed. Oh, it's, no, I happened? was dead last week. Like, yeah, I would have been here. It? What the, was it? Uh, it was a cold sinus infection. Just going home back to Michigan. Like, there are a whole bunch of little, like... Kids. Kids, sick kids yeah. running around. The yeah. flu this this season yeah. is, I hear, awful. No, I was fighting it for a week, and then mo- Tuesday rolled around, and I just couldn't roll out of bed. I walked, wow. like, five feet to the TV, turned on the TV, and then it was like... Out. Told Bryce to come help you guys out. I love being sick though. No, why it's like, like well, I love being painfully sick because you don't have to do anything. You don't I'm kind of the same much. way. Yes. You don't have to eat much. You could just watch TV and just wallow in your misery. I love it. It's the mm. only time I can actually relax. Yeah, it's like you know, I don't care what I'm watching on TV. Usually, it's like I have to watch the best show out there. Yeah, I just watched all of America. When I was Battle. living in La Jolla, I got sick, really sick. And I went to, because it was a blockbuster my, by my house. Yeah. And I rented a bunch of movies, and I just remember calling to work, going, I'm not going to be in for two days. This is, I'm, and I remember just not eating. It was raining, and I would just watch like movies and just lay there. And it was probably the happiest time back then. Then my car got towed during when it was raining when I was sick. I didn't care. I was just like, let me just be sick. I love the feeling. Wow. <laughs> And then when you get healthy, you're like, oh, I got responsibilities now. Yeah, now you got to. You do milk it, though. Because when you're sick, even if it's for three days, I don't know why, but you veg out for like two weeks longer than you should. Yeah, because I just have a slow metabolism. Yeah. I have, I have broken insides. Yeah. Mm. I, yeah, I, I, you know, I know I'm not healthy. I, I, I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge of some sort of like traumatic thing. Physical mm-hmm. thing, I can feel it. I think what I quit smoking. I think I quit smoking a little too late. I think that um, You're I eating should, healthy. I'm trying. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not too late. I don't think so. You'd be surprised how quickly the body heals and regenerates. Well, that's the best compliment I've heard and, you say in a while. And that's why you get the smoker's cough because all that cilia, those like hair-like structures that were once flattened and dead in your lungs, are now coming back up. So it's now able to kick up all that mucus. And so you're getting healthy. So even though it feels shitty in your lungs when you cough, that's a good sign. Is it pedophilia? Oh my god! Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> She's literally talking let about ask, no, let me just smoking. Ask you something. Let me ask you something, okay? Okay. It's not pedophilia, but I just want to ask you something. Because it, you know, I don't, know how to, I don't know how to approach this. I don't think there is a way to approach it. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. I'm going to try. Try. It. Okay. So Kalila wanted me to listen to Sia like she's like a big Sia fan mm-hmm. oh my god I already know where this is going and yes it's pedophilia yeah but I'm not gonna say that I, I'm not attracted to her <laughs> but what I'm saying is there's this girl that's in all her music videos the dancer Maddie Maddie, Maddie. she's really good yeah she's really good he, like, just, le- he, just, he just found out about her oh she's I go, huge who's that girl she's, she's Maddie so I follow her on Twitter mm-hmm. you know it, but then when I started following her because she's underage it made me feel gross. Is that weird? It's not weird. And I think that's a correct feeling to feel. Because you're like basically following a child's life. And it does. She it just make, make me up feel fucking weird. tutorials on fucking YouTube stuff. It's weird. But I also I'm curious to see what's that's going on with her. That's not pedophilia. I think you're just a fan of a, of a younger, you know, artist. Good. Because with kids, I'm weird, man, with that shit. And I think that you have to really proceed with caution when it comes to that because, yeah. you know, people do assume the worst out of anyone. So um, I was at the Veggie Grill the other day. Yep. And I, so there's this comic that I know, yeah. right, who was accused of doing something sexual in a bad way. Oh, one of those. So he was kind of blackballed. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen him in a while. I go, what's up, dude? And he was wearing a hoodie and he was just basically like, he looks me in the eyes and he just goes, dude, I didn't do it. And he he was so sincere. He goes, I did not do it. Mm. My question to you is this. I know people's hearts. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's not like I'm a, it's not a talent, but 
It could, it, it, could, it, it could actually it could Eric be. Griffin, for instance, right? Saturday night, I wasn't performing good on stage. I was going through something. Mm-hmm. Afterwards, he goes, "Hey, man, you all right?" I go, "I'm fine." Then later that night, he texted me, "If you you want to talk." The next day, "Hey, man, I'm always here for you." He's a real friend. I really believe that Eric Griffin. I know his heart, and I think that I know this. I know that he's a good dude, right? He, he could never be president, that, right? Uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Never. No one would ever vote for him. But, <laughs> but I know that he's a good guy, a good person, not evil. Yeah. There's some comics that I believe are evil. Uh, they just have an evil, weird energy, and their heart. They're opportunistic, and there's something going on, and I I, I don't want to name names. I want to. Yeah, I know you don't. So badly. Tell. I so badly I want to, so but I'm not going to. Spit it out. But they sell a lot of tickets. Well, well that's road. been narrowed down now. Right? <laughs> narrowed down. And they're generally <laughs> white. Well, okay, narrowed down even more. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's stop there. And mail. Let's stop, and mail. Let's stop there. And mail. And that's it. I'm gonna, what? You're still down to like 95%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that you're is still true. Safe. You're still safe. I'm still safe. That I know that there's certain comics that I go if if it came out that guy raped twenty women like not surprised. I'd be like yeah mm. you wouldn't be surprised I would not be surprised no now just based on your one on one interactions with them or how you view them from the sidelines it's my one on one reaction I mean we're friends I guess I mean we're acquaintances to the point where we have long conversations and yeah I've known some of these guys for many many years but you think that inherently their core is rotten. Yeah. Okay. And I think, yeah. <laughs> we have long conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to know we, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. They're rotten. We hug. Yeah. So, but, your, so your question is what? My question is if a friend is accused of something sexual that's bad and they look at you in the eyes and they say, I swear to God I didn't do it. How do you respond to that? That is very tough to... I, I would say this, like, I'm really sorry that you're going through that, dude. I hope that, you know, I hope that justice will prevail. Yeah, justice will prevail. And you're being pretty broad about it because you justice for the person, the, the person who's a victim or justice for him. Yeah. Either way, justice will prevail. And I think that and, you, well, okay. that's actually. Yeah. OK. Let, I, OK. Gilbert. Yeah. I'm accused of something. OK. And then you. Well, I wouldn't you, need, I hear what you say. No, but you, you, you hear some fucked up things about me. Yeah. Some fucked up things. I've already heard a lot of fucked up. Things. I know, but like you, 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 you heard that I, you know, did something really bad. X Y Z. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You run into me, and then I want you to say the prevail justice will prevail, right? But ask me first. Go hey hello, and then I'll tell, and then I'll go. I'll yeah. do my pitch. Go ahead. But you just, Robbie, run. are you wearing a hoodie and a face mask? Oh hey man, Gilbert, what's up? Good. Yeah, we haven't done the podcast in a while. I know. Well, um. Dude, I'm telling you right now, man. You know all that shit that you've been hearing about in the media and stuff? Yeah. About you sticking a bottle up a girl's butt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. I know. I didn't do that shit, man. Look at me, dude. I've never. Why would I do that? I don't drink. Why, why would I? You, come on, man. I didn't do it. Now give me the line. Look. Yeah. Justice will prevail. <laughs> that sounds really like ominous. Yeah. What? That sounds <laughs> ominous. Like, yeah, I'd that's what like, I'm saying. Don't, saying don't say it like that. Oh. Justice will prevail. Do it in prevail. a way where you're going to convince oh, me. Oh, I thought you wanted me just yeah, to say Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hi, I'm Superman. <laughs> Justice <laughs> will prevail. Like, dude, it's so fucking crazy that's going on right now. Like, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Yeah. I hope the truth comes out. I just told you the truth. Well, we don't know everything. Oh my God! Sorry, that's your right, friend. right, right yeah. there. Right. That's why I should have just stuck to uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> right. See, already right there. It's a tough situation. I already right there. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. Friendship wise. Yeah, because I'm. I really didn't do anything. Yeah. And I'm telling you, right, that I didn't do anything, and you're like, well, hopefully it'll come out. You know. Justice will prevail. Yeah, because you told me it's not. Them. I know, but that's not gonna work. You have to do this. I believe you. <laughs> but justice will prevail. No, you have to go. Yeah, dude. Like, even if you don't, you have to go. Yeah, 
You have to say that? No, you don't have to say it, but you could. There's a ways of doing it. Like you just want to get out of this situation. Yes, I want to get out. This I want to. So, okay, so this it's is not, not like you really, really believe him. Believe. You just. But wanna... I like. But I like. He's my friend. Yeah. So it's like, what do you say? You gotta go. Also, it's not your job to scold him, anyways. Yeah. I feel like he's already getting a lot of shit. A yeah. lot of shit. It's not your job to be like, dude, bro. Yeah. yeah. So if anything, just, whatever you need, I'll be here for you. Kind of like what Eric did. I would. I wouldn't right. say that because then he's gonna text you nonstop because you're the only person that believes him. This is what I would say. You say something. You say that you... Hey. Yeah. I know I just won this Emmy and all this stuff is coming out about me. Yeah. About my past. I swear to God. It's not true. Look at me right now, dude. Yeah. You swear to fucking God. Look, I'm your friend. Nothing happened. Yes. Yes what? Yes what? Nothing happened. <laughs> no. Why are you laughing? I don't know why your girlfriend's here. I thought it was a I'm private sorry, meeting. Yeah. She's, she's, yeah, she's a ninja. <laughs> Yeah. You didn't see the smoke bomb? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing nothing happened. Well, you know what, dude? I'm with you, man. Ew. Okay. And then fast forward two weeks later. I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah, it's but all, all I said you. was I'm with you. What does that mean? It's just support. That's just support. That's, ex that's exactly what it you, is. That's you how can, you say it. You can be there with someone. Anyone listening right now, man. Mm, no, don't take you, this advice. <laughs> anyone listening to right now, right? If you're in a situation where your friend's in trouble, just say, I, I'll be... I'm with you for any situation. For any for situation, even, no, Bobby. No, no, because no. you're co-signing whatever the fuck they could have. What does that mean? Done. I'm with you. I, I'm with you in spirit. I'm no, with you're with you. Say, like you're say, on board. You're the, on say, their side. Say the same thing, Bobby. I'm in a burning building. I'm with you. See everything. Well, everything's kosher. fine. Everything's kosher. Everything's being accused of sexual <laughs> stuff. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking bitch <laughs> right now. You're a now. fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking come up with a solution if people are in this situation. Look, the situation. It's Clyla. a simple ass. Go ahead. Tell me. None of the stuff I did was true. I'm, none of it's true that you're hearing what you're hearing on the news right now. Dude, I'm really sorry that this is all happening to you, and I hope to God what you're telling me is the truth because I hate to see you go through this. Yeah, but I am telling you the truth. Okay, and in that, I I hope to God that the rest of the world, like the details will come out, and I hope to God that they can see so that you, this is so the truth. So, do you believe me? Oh, that's a better question. Do you believe me? No. Okay. You're no longer in my top ten. Uh, Hold on, my how would I answer friends. that? Ask me again. Ask Guess me what? Again. <laughs> the world's not on your top. Again. You know my top ten fucking MySpace friends. Yeah. You have, so you brought it back. You're out. You you're, out. Right. you're out of that top ten. Ask yeah. me again. Do you believe? Am I a woman though? No, you're my just. A uh, homie, a dude. You're, you're dude. You're a ninja. Do you believe me? Look, dude. I don't know what I believe. A lot of these things right, are happening you. everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Fuck you. Keep it's going. a tricky one. It's a tricky one. It is the believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know who you are. Just We've been lie. friends for fifteen. Is it better than just lie? I yeah, don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just lie, everyone. Yeah, hey, Go, I lie believe to you, win. dude. You lie, lie to win, win guys. And that's why. And we're at here. the end of the day, <laughs> that's what we're trying to teach. Oh my god! That's so horrible. I know. We take that back. It's a real. It's a real. It's a real touchy. It's a touchy thing. I didn't know what to say to this guy. So I just go, yeah, I'm with you. What did I say? I, I, I think I said I believe I you. I think you just took a sandwich and ran. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's it's. Tough. But you don't believe him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think that it's okay. You can know somebody's heart, and I've said this before, yeah, yeah. but the heart and the dick are two completely separate things, and mm -hmm. what somebody does when they're trying to... Yeah, the heart's inside your body. The dicks outside your yeah, body. Yeah, they're two different things. Of course they are. Yeah, but I mean, look. <laughs> science alert. Science yeah, science alert. <laughs> the heart and the dick are two Science alert. <laughs> the yeah, dick yeah. is not inside your, your heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, his is kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. When I was it just has a casing, like it a was, sausage casing. It was fat. Yeah, when I was fatter, it was just like the nub. Oh, really? Yeah, because when your fat covers the. I mean, that's not really. That doesn't make it an interior. No, it was interior. You know, phallus. Nah, it was a clit. I I I I, I kind of want to talk about one of the episodes of Black Mirror. We just the one. premise. Can we just talk about one premise? We, as long as you say, tell us what episode and you have to say spoiler alert so people can. Spoiler alert. Spoiler the, the, alert. The episode's called Crocodile. Okay. It's the third one. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, I'm only going to talk about the first scene. The murder? Yeah. No, it's not a murder. You know, it's not a murder. It's two An people accident. in a car. Oh, yeah. That, the, right, right. Yeah, yeah. You and I are in a car. Yeah. We just partied. So we're a little drunk. Yeah, from the up front. Right. And we're in the middle of like the desert or whatever. Where they were they were at a canyon, a mountainside. Mm -hmm. No cars around, no one around. By themselves. They hit a bicyclist. He dies. Mm -hmm. 
they put the bicycle list body in a sleeping bag they put rocks in it and they just throw it in the ocean right you call the police right well they were afraid that because they were both intoxicated drugs. yeah drugs. i know that's what i'm saying you and i are drugged out that, that's manslaughter that's Coke. vehicular what, manslaughter. What, what would you do me in that situation i i already know myself i would just turn myself in me too. Um, yeah me too because that's too much shit to go through also just mentally but if he was an elite let me ask you this <laughs> why are we carrying I'm, over I'm, I'm gonna be very I mean, no, you'd be very you political can't have about sex with a monkey and create a child. <laughs> okay, move on. Next question. Next question. What if it was um, you're in the desert, you're still in America, you're in New Mexico. Okay, love that. Place. And you run over an illegal immigrant. Yeah. What and I And you're drunk. What Here, I, I have a solution. To I that. have an answer to that. That's a much it? better scenario, because then, if I'm able to track down his family, it's not like they can sue in america i'm just going to provide for the family for the rest of my life so you hide the you, i thomas shelby it if i kill oh, your family shit. member yes. i'm going to make sure that they're all taken care of for the rest of their life so you bury the body you don't go to the police but you find his identification i card. don't bury the body i give the body back to the family hey dude i killed your family wait wait no the, the, the he crossed the border that's right? what she's saying Right? He's now in America. Right? Yeah. You're drunk in New Mexico. I'm yeah. driving that body back to Mexico. I'm getting other people to help me. Do you know this man? He, I'm not going to say I killed him to everybody, but I'm going to get run bring, over. You're going to bring a dead body across the border? They don't know. Okay, if it's just <laughs> internal you know hemorrhage. Raul? I know Raul. I have to find Raul's family. <laughs> they all look the same. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't turn myself in to American authorities. I would not. If it was an illegal oh, immigrant, no. um, I would. I'm trying to think of the most beneficial way that the family could benefit the most, right? Yeah. Me going to prison will not benefit them because they don't have a slice of my pie. I want to give them my pie because I fucking killed their family member, and I want to make. I want to pay my dues. I want to say I'm sorry in ways that's going to improve their life. Oh, you know what I would do? I just thought of it. This is even better if I had money. Mm -hmm. I would mummify his body. Great. This is no, a good but listen, start. listen, right? Good start. No, just listen to what I'm saying. I want to hear it. Him. No, no, I hear it. I want to no, hear, hear my hear story. It. Hear me out, right? This is good. Mummify his body, good. right? This right. Have to do. Yeah. And then you have him like in positions in your backyard, like he's cutting trees. <laughs> good. Okay. Or mowing the lawn, right? Right. And you just take photos good and have him, jokes. In the, have him in the background, right? Yeah. And then you keep that you you know you send his money, you write a letter, you know, do you you know. Dia, yeah. Dia Maria. <laughs> Dia Maria. Kenny, yeah, I'm working player. so hard. Dia Maria. I'm working so hard. You know what I mean? For, you know, Mr. Lee's estate. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can, <laughs> but I have sent you, you know what I mean? And he's just a guy, right? I'll put him in the background. You can't really see, you know, put gloves on him. And do you have any consequences from this? No, he's, he's going to be, she's going to get a lot of money. Okay. Trust me. I'm talking like Donald Trump now. Right, Jesse. believe me, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> He's, she's gonna, they're gonna get a bunch of money. But it's just Ra Raul is always gonna be the provider. Not a good idea. I will also give you him know the what that's kind of like. like what? What? That's like the Dark Knight when they killed Harvey Dent was bad. They just said, oh, ba uh, he was the good guy. So they always, people always perceive him as the good guy. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. she would benefit. I think the family would benefit more. I, I mean, the, the loss what of if Raul. The, what if the sad. family wants justicia? What's that? Justicia. Justice. <laughs> And oh. they're like, no, I don't want the money. Justice will you prevail. You killed my, you know. I... Yeah, but he's not. Gonna, they're not going to know he died. He works for me. Oh. He there's he there's proof that's him on the roof. You know what I mean? Doing the shingles. You know. <laughs> Why does Uncle Raul never move? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the videos are just standing still. Yeah. Poor Raul. Or I would like green screen his face. I don't figure it out. Man, you go green. deep. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get ILM mom, involved. Mummify. <laughs> That's my first reaction. I'm gonna, oh shit! I killed someone. Let's mummify the body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out later. Did you ever hear about the guy? The guy that mummified his daughter. Oh no! His daughter died, and he mummified her. Like what do you call it? Um, taxi, taxidermy. taxidermy. Yeah. That's what I would do. I would mummify, I would taxidermy the illegal immigrant. You mm -hmm. wouldn't mummify because yeah, I would test tax, would die, taxidermy. Yeah. But he, I guess maybe this is urban legend. I don't know, but um. He has her in a red dress and with a balloon, and she's just sitting there in the living room, standing there in the living room. I think there's a health code that people have to follow that in America. 
Is that legal? That is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I know that obviously taxidermy is like legal, but taxidermy, like there's health mm. codes you have to follow and you have to like, decom you have to uh, get rid of a body in a certain way that is legal. I don't know if taxidermy is one of them. Because I feel like more people would do it if that was the case, if it was legal. I don't think anyone did. That's creepy. I would. Please uh, taxidermy what? me. I want to be. I, I talked about this before. I want you to mount me on the wall. I can understand. So my cats can see me every day and say, oh, mom's still home. You, you know what my idea is? What? It's the best. Which you is... put me in a tuxedo. Oh, God. Just you don't ever wear a tuxedo. You don't even own wear... one. I know, but get me one. <laughs> so the one time you a wear custom, it, but you're yeah, dead. Custom, yeah. right? Okay. And this is what I want you to do, okay? Uh, you put me in a gigantic jar of formaldehyde. Okay. So I'm just floating. A specimen. Mm. I'm floating. And then you have me in like a cathedral. People can walk into this little, like, it's like a, just a little chamber, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? A stone chamber. You walk in. In the middle of this chamber is this gigantic jar with me floating there, in there. Mm -hmm. Put a smile on my face if you can. Yeah. And underneath my body, like outside of this uh, jar, is a mechanism where it says people's names. So it'll say Gilbert, George, whatever. You press on it, and I go... What's up, George? Oh, like your name. You can customize. You can <laughs> yeah, like customize. customize it. You can pay you put, extra money. No, you put eighteen hundred names, the people that you know, everyone oh. that you know, even people that I can never get a what's up, Kalila, then because it's not even programmed into Normal the system. Systems. No, he was gonna. No, I, gonna I, say I, I do my no. I do it before I die. Oh, okay. Before I die, I customize all the. I'll do sentences. Yeah. yeah. Don't let the sun fall down or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Justice yeah. will prevail. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Science, Science alert. alert. Science yeah, alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have yeah. yeah there's funny Phrases. ones. And you, you, then you would just see me floating in this in this jar. Oh my gosh. Pretty Why cool. Why don't you just donate your body to the the human exhibit? The body. No, I want people specifically to come see me. I don't want strangers. Oh, you. <laughs> in fact, if you're not in the fucking buttons. You don't, can't come. You can't come don't in. Come. Better hope your name is either George Kalila or Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. Three names. There'll be a list, but um, you think? Uh, oh no, that's kind of just cool. me. It's, Fuck it's it. your story. I'm just look. If anything happens to you, yeah, I have to send this audio to court and be like, look, this is what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna believe you. Yeah. We have video. Is that illegal? And audio. You, can I can I be in a jar of fucking formaldehyde? It could be. I think if it if it were like a science experiment, there's probably a loophole to where they because they do that with the with the body exhibit. Mm -hmm. They keep they put what? real bodies there. They put real like um babies that have died and things like that. Um, or, so or, it, or free, just freeze my brain. No, yeah, okay. just download your your I, memories. I have a question. Stuff. Speaking of download, would you guys, if you still had consciousness, would you be okay with someone downloading a digital copy of yourself? No, and you had to live in this trap digital world. No, no. I, I watch that. episode six. Okay, I am scarred for life. Yeah, about where my consciousness goes after this. But vessel. you could put my consciousness in an Android. Oh, these they put your consciousness in Kalila. Like I will have stipulations. So if you collect my consciousness, it has to be and it has to be put into a vessel that has all oh, the Spanish dick I'm gonna see. Oh my god, no. Oh man. I need to have <laughs> I need to have my vessel have full capacity. Fucking... What? What? Nothing. He's talking about if he was a conscious. This, I only you, had like one Spanish No, no. Dick. If his conscious was in your head and like he died and then you moved on with your life, that he would have to, he'd be in your head. We talked about this because yeah. we watched episode six. I would, I would never not, have him No, wait, wait. I would only do it. I would only do it if she didn't know. Oh, hell so no. So I would never say anything. I would just kick back and watch this movie. This long ass <laughs> yeah, eternal So then we're like hiking again. Clyless and then life. she's in the ocean trying to look, ca capture lobsters you're not going to get. And then every once in a while you'll see Australian and Spanish dick. Specifically <laughs> Australian. Spanish. Yeah. And then I would, would I, let me say, if I'm in her mind and she's sucking dick, do I taste it too? Yes. Yes. No, no, thank you. There's no way. I feel like it would be like you would consider that a gift. Or but like then a every perk. night and every night you see her open up a diary and has your face in it and she sheds a tear. No, I doubt it. I think she's going to fucking forget about me. And that's the sad truth. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> That's, I love how you say that and immediately go for a kiss. <laughs> uh, this year we will have been together for five years. Woo! Five years. He Bobby has had my firm skin years. 
you better fucking I know. take it all in now because it's know. all downhill from here. Look at our wet feet. I know. I know. I'm going in the gym after. I've never been trying. in a relationship this long. Oh, also, uh, 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 a message to everyone listening. Hi. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing Battlefront. Star Wars. Battle Star Wars. Two. And I need people to play with. Hey, we have not talked about the Kursagas brothers. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Talk about God Lobs. <laughs> we talked about God Let me lobs. say something right now, guys. Yeah. Let's, let's get into it. So I started Googling things on YouTube. I've been Googling crazy Christians. It's I just interesting Google. <laughs> I do. I love like I like I like watching people, you know, go and speak in tongues mm. or when you know kids they get possessed in the middle of the street and they you know What's the, the documentary groups. we like? Um, um Jesus Camp. Jesus Camp, yeah. Is that it's what it's called? Good, yeah. Is it with kids in camp? Mm hmm being like indoctrinated oh, the best, really young. you ever see a Hell House? Yes, I have. What's Hell House? Hell That's House a good is one. a church in Texas and every year they do a haunted house. Mm hmm mm -hmm. But it's um people giving abortions and the satan oh but yeah like you told me this yeah, okay yeah, but yeah. the people actually audition for the parts of like actor pregnant like. girl who's about to get an abortion yeah, and the, the city, drug addict guy yeah it's a big deal in this town and at the end of this haunted house you can go into a room and there's an actual like you know a pasture there or whatever and you but can, it's a pastor not pasture <laughs> you have a there's pasture, a pasture of cows. i call them pasture. <laughs> I say pasture. Whoa. I call them pasture. Pasture raised Christians. <laughs> and they um they try to you know you, you can convert right then and there. Really? Yeah. So if I'm just a Get layman baptized. and I'm not like if I'm basically an atheist. Well, their like, goal is that the the haunted house is going to scare you enough to go. I want to be a Christian. Oh, it's a conversion house then. It's basically mm. what it is. Yeah. Is there like a gay room then? Yes. Yeah, there's a gay oh, room. I wonder sure. what yeah. that's yeah. like. So they they do a whole like play basically of. There's an AIDS guy. Yep, there's an AIDS, AIDS guy. Yeah, there's AIDS guy. Yes, this is true. It's true. They have base all the abominations yeah. are are played out mm. in and by actors who are really into it. And when they get the part, I mean, you should see. It's how like they want. Like they got they a want, Scorsese movie. Exactly. <laughs> well, they're like method. Yeah. yeah. No, they're like they're like they. It's like they're they, they, it's like life altering. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm working with De Niro. Oh, that yeah. that kind of excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is no, you got nothing. <laughs> You house. absolutely got nothing. But it's called Hell House, and you guys should watch it. But anyway, it. so I've been Googling stuff like that, and I ran into a jam, guys. A jam. The Chrysagus brothers. There's these two twins called the Chrysagus. You guys have to look them up. You also have let to me, follow them me, on YouTube. Let because, me spell it for you. Yeah. It's C-H-R-I-S-A-G-I-S. Chrysagus brothers. Okay. We'll put a link. You gotta listen. To, they do these like local like church TV shows, and they sing, and they do sketches. No, they're sketches. I'm gonna make you watch a sketch after this. Okay, both of you. Okay. Number one, they're 15 minutes long. Okay, well, that's already too long. <laughs> okay. Number two, there's they did this. You gotta go check it out at listening if you're listening. They do a ventriloquist sketch. It's the it's so unfunny and annoying. That I've seen it 80 times. That you keep watching I it? I cannot stop watching it. <laughs> he cannot. I mean, you I guys, four days in a row. I fucking love it. I, I study scenes and line re line readings in there. Yeah. He oh knows all God. their songs now. I know their songs. I love it. How many followers do they have? So on YouTube, they have what? 900, 900 subscribers. Subscri Is that good? No. Uh, How did you find a channel that's so small? That's what like surprised How me. How many subscribers do we have? 70, uh, 70 some thousand that's 70 nearing it on 80,000 yeah Almost and that's not 000. that good I know compared to like people who have like but it's better than them yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's yeah, all I care about we're beating the Chrysagas <laughs> brothers we're beating the Chrysagas brothers <laughs> thank god justice will prevail <laughs> but these two okay but there's also an interview they do about you know how they became Christians mm -hmm. and I laughed out fucking loud what was that basically their... they're like so the doctor told my, our mom not to have baby is because she has a disease. But she had them anyway. Mm -hmm. And my brother and I were born, and we are allergic to 800 things. <laughs> no, <laughs> including the sun. Including the sun. Which is what? a real Wait, thing for some. those guys? You, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Except they're the tannest people. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're dark as fuck. I know, but listen. <laughs> in fact, we if the, if the sun hit our skin, we would instantly die. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Right? In seven years, they lived like in a... Dark room, <laughs> right? 
the Hell House. <laughs> right? And then her mom went to a healer, a Christian healer. They did a prayer. And now they're just, now they're on sun tanning on the beach. I mean, you know, it's, it's The doctors amazing. couldn't do anything, but the healer could. Yeah. So now they are um, stuck in the seventies. Um, with they have like they're, it's they're the they, they basically what they are are Abba, Abba. <laughs> That's what yeah, yeah gay Abba that is perfect. But yeah. now and also they're gay. I they're, think they're obviously gay. I think they're very so flamboyant. Too. No, they're gay. I think they're gay. Are they they suck dick. They have to suck dick. Yeah, it, but behind Jesus' back. Yeah. Oh, because okay. Jesus not doesn't looking, like it. Not yeah. He doesn't like it. But maybe they're the types of Christians that like accept homosexuality. They're not. They're not. They they belong to Club Thirty Six. They do these real sta- staunch, you know, born again Christian. Mm. They're they're hardcore. Yeah, hardcore. Yeah, and they believe in the Lord. Mm. But you guys have to check them out and please, Let's please blow them up. Th- yeah, we're gonna blow them up. I I genuinely think someone should make a movie or a show based on these two brothers. I really do. That's actually a good, like an, even like an HBO or because something. It's so it's so loony. It's so it's loony. Perfect. It's so cr- weird. But um, I love you guys. And I think that we should um have guys. Gilbert we're ready for the question. Yeah. Oh, the question. I wasn't ready for that. Was, well, what are we, have we done wise? enough? Yeah. We're good. We're on 50. Uh, wait, hold on. We're right on 50? We're a little over 50. But like including this is all no, the this other is stuff? Very, yeah. This is very okay, normal. Okay, okay, okay. There's no other stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, they're right. You mean the <laughs> 30 minutes we cut out? <laughs> God damn it. Mm, uh, I don't you think it's... See, my eyes are puffy. I was just listening. Everyone listen, listen right now. I'm just going to say it. Every episode now we're cutting out thirty minutes because yeah. they, they get people cry. And we record you, yeah. for three hours essentially. For yeah, an yeah. Hour I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it gets fucking crazy. What happened was uh, I don't want to talk about no, it. Yeah. What but, happened was um, I had a emotional meltdown. Yeah, but I said some wrong things again. <laughs> I just say things. I say things. I, I don't know why, but my gut says it. Said say it when just I know it's it. not right, and I say it, and it's chaos. Right. We but try. anyway, what's we try our, our best? You we know? try our best. Yeah. What, what, what is it? What is it? On Boss with Bobby and Kalila. Hello, beautiful Tiger Belly fam. I'm a huge fan of the podcast and love how funny, insightful, and honest you all are, including the guests. I'm 22 years old and my hairline has been receding since I was 20. I've been shaving my head since and embraced the Mr. Clean look early on. Yet, I've been recently feeling insecure about it. And I'm in university and not many guys my age are going through the same thing. Part of me realizes that I should look at this as a sign of morality and pers- mor- or mortality and pursue my goals. The other half wants to save up money for a SMP, scalp micro pigmentation uh, head tattoos, just for a couple of years until I'm old enough uh, where it's a common thing. I'm clearly on the fence. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Peace from the Middle East, Khalid. So he's 20, no hair. Uh- Bobby. Insecure. I think I think I, I balding from a female's perspective. Twenty. Twenty. I've never found balding guys to be unattractive. As yeah, a matter I, of fact, I my love ex, the Andre Agassi look. Me too. It is pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I think that it's so. It, there's something distinguished about it. It is a little tricky though when they're that young, but you're not going to be twenty forever. So by the time you hit thirty and in you're well into your man stride. Trust me, like females find you just as attractive. The 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 fickle, petty ones, the ones who don't like receding hairlines. Those are the ones you don't want to end up with, anyways, because they're fucking superficial. So also, I can't wait to look get have that look. I can wait. I'm gonna grow. No, I'm gonna bald, but I'm gonna grow my hair off on the sides, <laughs> so it has this like wizardy yeah, warlock yeah, yeah. look, you know. And I'm gonna wear like those like um, Doctor Strange glove glasses. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna wear open Hawaiian shirts. I have a look set out mm-hmm. for every era. Oh wow. Yeah. And when I'm 80, I have a look. It's gonna be great. But if he, I wouldn't get the surgery. tattoo, oh, the I tattoo. would probably just go ahead and save money for the surgery if that's what you really want. Like Bobby wants a beard, and one day he's gonna get a beard. I'm gonna get beard transplants. Oh, yeah. Wow. And also when I'm like 80, and I'm like, I think acting's over. I'm gonna get facial tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm gonna get tattoos on my face. I think facial I'm gonna have like five cool. teardrops, even though I've never killed anybody. <laughs> yeah. Just, just to have them. Don't you want to know? Like, go through a mall and go and have see people look at the teardrops and have yeah. them be scared. What yeah. else would you get? 
I would probably do something like maybe my own my little pony tattoo. I don't know, something weird. Mm. Can you microblade your eyebrows? I don't know. What? Oh, you know what? I would keep my eyes this squinty, but put another eye around it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so your eye acts as an eyeball? Yeah, yeah so it just looks like, uh, yeah. I'm going to make my actual eye. Oh, man. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll so figure. to this guy, if you can hold out and learn to like accept it and be confident with mm. it, I promise you that women still find balding men attractive. But if you can't, and you know, getting hair plugs is something that's gonna make, boost your confidence, then do that. But don't get the the tattoo. I think those look silly. On the head. When you're eighty, the bald head. On the bald head, I don't like the look, and I can tell oh. for some reason, no matter how good they are. Andre Agassi clean. Yeah, clean. go Andre Agassi. It's cute. It's sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, get the surgery. Don't do it. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you've already tuned out. We've oh, lost Bobby. Well, really quick, MMA Minute, because we didn't talk about this fighter mo uh, years ago. Uh, Duho Choi is fighting this Super weekend. Superboy, Jeremy, Super Jeremy uh, Stevens. Well, I'm Duho to you. Just put on that p performance that you did with the last one. With Against Cub, Cub Swanson. Cub Swanson, because I think he's going to win Duho, but Me too. Duho's a warrior. But so is Jeremy Stevens. Uh, it's He's gonna be, fought it's gonna be everybody. A tough who, fight. I mean, it was when it went Saturday, uh, Sunday for free. Mm -hmm. Sunday for free. I can't wait. Do who? Do who? They need a Korean superstar. We're gonna have. We're gonna. We're gonna have a superstar on this podcast soon. MMA. No, we're gonna get a good guest. Okay, cool. Let's plan on it. Let's just not announce it. We're not so gonna announce it. Like yeah, but we. I'm just letting. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm working on a big one. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah. Can we get Joe Biden? What would no. you talk about with him? There's no way he'd do it. Although I feel like I think he would. Joe Biden would be probably like, oh, sure, I'll do it. This is weird. Okay. This is. I feel like he he would we, love to get things off to his chest. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being like in a, in a world where you just cannot say what you want to say. Come to Tiger Belly. You can unload here. This is a place for you. This yeah, is a safe we'll space. Cut it out. <laughs> we might cut it out. I love, you guys. I love world, you guys so uh, much. Just okay? email us. At the any, show, any shows? Oh, Bobby. shit. Yeah, I do. I need oh, it. Oh, Bobby will be in San Jose, San Jose this, weekend. this weekend. You guys have to come because it's like, it's. I need help. Please support Papa. San Jose? Yeah. They have a new management there. It's a little weird. And then mm -hmm. um, I'm in Chicago soon, too, at Schaumburg. Yeah. Um, hold on. Yes. Schaumburg, February 12th weekend. And then after that, it's Irvine. Oh. And then... And then after that, you do um, you have one in Addison Improv in Texas, and then Arlington, Virginia. Nice. The Draft House. I love the Draft House. Yes. It's great. God bless you. Take care. Good night. God love. For more dates, uh, go to bobbyleelive.com. Uh, and don't forget to uh, get your $30 off for uh, bluewaver.com slash belly. And a uh, friendly reminder to everybody out there, if you want to uh, have a business and you want to sponsor the podcast, uh, shoot us an email at thetigerbelly at gmail.com, uh, attention George, or sponsor, and let us know what you have. Uh, make sure if it's something we uh, feel that we like and want to toss out to the uh, fans, we'll uh, take a look at it. Take a look at it. Thank you. Cool. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on Twitter at The Tiger Belly. And like George said, email us any questions or sponsor uh, pitches to the Tiger Belly at gmail.com. You can follow George on all social media at uh, George underscore Kimmel uh, Instagram. Well, he's sick, oh, so that was weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you can follow Kalala on all social media at Calamity K. And guys, look out this year, 2018, uh, for some more merch and possibly another live show, Secret uh -oh. Fan Show. I'm going to put it out there, so we have to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys oh, and also oh. go to our website. There's still some sticker packs. Sticker packs are still available. So t-shirts are sold out, so next run will be soon. But see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.